there is power when you believe in Jesus. If he tells you, I will lift you, forget who wants to bring you down. It's a total waste of time. Just believe me. When God says, I will honor you in your lifetime, I want you to believe him. God is not a man that you should lie, nor the son of man that you should repent. Man of God, when God says he's giving you grace that takes you to the nations, believe him. Businessman, when God tells you that your captivity has come to an end, yours is to believe him. The dynamics of the walking is beyond the realm of logic. He is the father of spirits. He knows how to connect A and B, B and C, A to Z for your rising. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, do not give God a template he must use before you believe. That is unbelief. Lord, I want you to lift me, but please can you use this man to lift me? That is unbelief. The economy of heaven does not work that way. There are about 8 billion actors that God can use. Anyone can be used by God for your rising. Your uncle says no, there must be someone saying yes somewhere. The challenge is that our faith is auxiliary faith. It is not absolute faith. You are saying faith, but at the back of your mind, you are hoping that faith is connected to somebody or something. I can tell you instances in my life where God said he would do many things and it did not make sense. I have mastered the art of being faithful in my area of the faith equation while not bothering myself with the area that is none of my business. And it shall come to pass that if you diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord, to obey, to do and observe all that I command you this day, that you shall be exalted above all the nations of the earth, and these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. How they will come is none of my business. All I know is that if I obey him in walking in keeping, you will marvel and wonder at the creativity of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Do you believe me? I'm saying that because I need to put your faith in place so that when we begin to pray, you look beyond the pain. The pain is real. I'm not denying it. It is there. The sickness is there. But can you look on? There were serpents on the ground. But Moses said there are two kinds of serpents you can look at. The one lifted by instruction or the one coming to you. That if you can look at the brazen altar, the brazen serpent, you will leave. There are two names you can look at. The one you are holding as a medical report or the one exalted as Lord and Christ. There are two names you can look at. Unemployment as a name or the provider as Jaira. There are two names you can look at. Untimely death or the resurrection and the life. There are always many names and you are at liberty to turn whatever direction. Except that where your face turns is where your life turns to. They looked unto him and the Bible says their faces were lightened. Lot's wife was mandated to not look back. But the Bible says while she was going, I don't know what it is about Sodom that caught her attention. She turned and even in the midst of great deliverance, she stood there. Her own was not delay, was not retrogression, was not stagnation. She became salt, a pillar, a monument, a warning that if any man draws back, my soul will find no pleasure in him. And the Bible makes reference to her tragedy. It says, remember Lord's wife. Please hear me. There is nothing you cannot do. There's no mountain if you have said it, then you will do it. You, you have a track record keeping your word, and you're not. Ladies and gentlemen, hear me. You are not the first to need a job. No, you are not the first to be diagnosed with a challenging situation. My Bible says, listen, 
that the thing that is is the thing that was and the thing that is to happen there is nothing new under the sun the Bible is full of men who survive what you are going through that by reading their story to be a consolation to you are we together that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday you are not the first to start having a bone condition an ear condition a neck pain no apostle but men have prayed and prayed for me why don't you release your faith tonight and look unto Jesus did the Bible not say about the woman with the issue of blood that she spent all her earnings on doctors and physicians she was not an irresponsible woman she made efforts before that time to meet people but the solution it was not a permanent solution not until Jesus came not until Jesus came ladies and gentlemen a miracle service is beyond a healing service a healing is a major part of it but God is concerned about every aspect of your life including the housing issue including the finance issue did you hear what I said including that issue that has brought shame and reproach this is God for you so that when it's time to release your faith don't stand to be a spectator and say well Lord I know that you will touch me no you have to be an active participant to work with the Holy Spirit don't waste the time that you, you have spent time to come many of you have been here since morning waiting releasing your faith now is the time insist and ensure that I will not go back the same and for those who are connecting online I've taught you that distance is no barrier that every spirit that is troubling you must leave and every condition that is in partnership with any spirit mocking God in your life it's time to insist it must go you are a man of God and you have come here because of there are certain deficiencies of results you've seen in your life and your ministry it's time to obtain grace genuine grace that empowers you to go back and produce results hallelujah praise the name of the Lord but my emphasis tonight I and, and I began to sense this very strongly as I prayed is God really really wants to step in to bring healing miracles healing miracles the the spread of sicknesses and diseases mysterious occurrences eating up people's bodies you see someone alive and strong standing but something is dying within him heart dying liver dying kidney dying brain dying what a devil how does it transport itself from anywhere until it finds itself in your brain then it latches there and starts growing yet we call them unicellular what gave them the intelligence to know that that is your brain that is your heart that is this and that hallelujah that all the pain you are going don't wait until you are they diagnose it and say this is finally this if it is discomforting you that devil must leave this night in the name of Jesus Christ how about those who have all kinds of dreams activities of familiar spirits masquerading as loved ones that you have seen help those under the anointing I'm angry in my spirit oh let me tell you and that, that anger in partnership with the anointing is about to be unleashed in this place. There is a holy anger that is necessary for certain levels of breakthrough. When you love God's people and you see them under oppression, except you are, you are also satanic, you should not be smiling. Hallelujah. There are some of you that all your earnings have finished in drugs, or treatments you see it's another dimension of the manifestation of the devourer because when your health is disturbed no amount becomes too much to keep your life and 10 million naira can finish in one month because of a devil masquerading in your body so it's not only healing you are going to receive there must be restoration do you believe that restoration restoration 
restoration now there are those who are not sick in terms of infirmity but they are diseased they lie down and they cannot sleep the trouble that is on you is heavier than the bed you are lying down on and it's as if the bed is on you you wake up tired more tired than you do because there's trouble there's school fees your children are abroad you are thinking of taking care of them the ones here all kinds of trouble maybe the rates housing has increased no a miracle service is a convergence where god brings his people and allows them to collide with his transforming power with his miracle working power there is a consolation to the believers christian experience that god can arise and he can visit men and with visitations come redemption hallelujah gentlemen I announce to you that this is a miracle service where God will raise you from the dust of shame. Finally, in the name of Jesus Christ, raise you from the dust of shame and decorate your life like Pharaoh did that of Joseph. You believe that? Shout a loud amen. Hallelujah. I hope you know that the garment shame and despair can be worn like a garment. Is it in your Bible? That a man can wear it the same way I cannot look at someone dressed on suit and say you are wearing traditionals. No. A man can wear the garment of shame and walk with it. Walk with it to your place of work. Walk with it to... And several people who should help you just ignore you. You don't know what they are seeing. They don't know what they are seeing. But the results of rejection is clear. Can I tell you? Psychologists teach us that rejection is the worst thing that can happen to a man from a psychological standpoint. To be rejected means to be given a clear message that you are not needed within a system, you are not needed within your workplace. That is, that is where people try to pretend so that they belong. But there's something God can place on your head. That when he places it on your head, even from the prison, the king can send for you and bring you out of any dungeon. I hope you believe what I'm telling you. Listen, let me say this one last, one last encouragement and then we'll pray. Always be conscious of the fact that spiritual forces have dominion and exact dominion over the physical men even science has agreed with religion and spirituality that no man walks alone you see a man alone but there are forces we carry is that true a man can walk alone if you met the madman in Gadara and he came and met you and just shook your hand you would believe you were shaking one man not knowing you were shaking a legion the same way you can see one man and believe you are shaking one man you just you will know that you shook hand with speed you shook hand with favor you shook hand with breakthrough you shook hand with elevation it is true graces are trapped in men it is your responsibility tonight to scan through your life and see what is not working and pray and insist that in the name of Jesus it must begin to work this is why I came here Lord I'm tired of this shame and reproach over my family my loved ones why is it that good things keep happening on, until we show up and then the narrative just changes there is a way out I don't know what the way is but I know there is a way out and then you engage by faith are you ready to pray will take two or three minutes to pray I want you to release your faith sincerely God brought us to this miracle service to see to it that we return with strange manifestations of his power. Lift your voice in one minute everywhere. Whether you are outside, whether you are inside, all the overflows, go ahead and begin to pray. Indeed, it is my night. God is giving me a story. Shalika parakos sobrandeke beleketash keprateka bareka skote beleketa manta prakete beleketos katiba la sandabash this disease, this infirmity is living finally. Someone pray. This embargo of shame and reproach, backwardness, retrogression is giving way in the name of Jesus. Take a minute to release your faith. 
It's time for gates to be open. It's time for doors to be open. Time for new chapters to be open. Make sure you are praying engaged by faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me give you one more prayer point. If you are not interested, don't pray it. You can pray the rest. You are going to declare that every spirit that keeps me or anybody around me poor and limited begging and in servitude in the name of Jesus I curse it by the spirit open your mouth and pray pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding pray with understanding many things in our lives are connected to our economic empowerment many things in our lives will make progress when economic empowerment is at work in us open your mouth and pray Go ahead and pray. My life will soon reveal You're the lifter of men Lifter of men I will hold on to the storm And I will hold on to your world My life will soon reveal You're the lifter Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hear me. Hear me. Tonight, there are three things I want you to fight by faith. Number one is sickness and any kind of bodily limitation. Number two, smallness in life and destiny. This is, you know the purpose of influence. So I'm not afraid to teach you and release grace upon you. For as long as you remain small, you will be weak and there are many things you will not be able to do for the kingdom. Smallness is a curse. Let me tell you straight to the point. Do not let anything and anyone massage you into believing that a life of smallness is a blessing. There is greatness without vision. That is also a foolish template for living. But in the presence of vision and understanding, there is no limit to what greatness and influence can do in your life. And then number three, poverty. Do you know that many things in your life will be impeded when you are economically handicapped? That is the truth. Anyone who has lost anyone Naira, I don't care for no matter how long, by the power that raised, if you believe in the prophetic, then I'm speaking to you. Between now and the next three months, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, let there be supernatural restoration. Let there be supernatural restoration. You will be surprised to see what God will do. Don't doubt. I declare restoration. First for the man God revealed to me and then for anyone who is in that condition. May my God restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You can return to your seats rejoicing. Return to your seats rejoicing. Return to your seats rejoicing. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now. I want to minister deliverance to the captives. Hmm.
as you are standing here connect your family to yourself by faith so that what is happening to you you are releasing your faith that is also happening to them it is as for me and my house me and my house at the count of three I'm going to ask you to shout the name Jesus and once you shout that name Jesus please hear me whether you are an elderly person a young person male female within this ground or across the nations of the earth the power of God to deliver to separate you from any spirit that is back of the tragedies that you have been experiencing that power is about to be released and I want you to believe it please believe it please believe it negative dreams wicked dreams seeing things that you are not supposed to see with dead people in primary schools in secondary schools writing exams that don't finish it doesn't matter in what way i decree and declare now at the count of three fire is falling let's have them come out so i minister to them are you ready father honor your word one two three shout jesus delivered now be delivered now I break those yokes I break those yokes bring them out I break those yokes by the power of the Holy Spirit women be delivered men be delivered firstborns be delivered families be delivered Easterners be delivered, Westerners be delivered, Middle Belters be delivered, Northerners be delivered. Every familiar spirit roaming around your family and your destiny, we declare let the fire of the Holy Ghost rest upon your family now. Bring them out. I decree and declare that every manifestation of evil around any family here represented affecting women affecting men affecting fertility affecting productivity right now may the hand of God rest upon you may the hand of God rest upon you may the hand of God rest upon you the Lord is showing me chains in people's hands that are being broken right now the power of God is coming upon such people I'm seeing the number 11 in the name of Jesus wherever you are whether within this auditorium the balcony anywhere across in the name of Jesus let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now let that chain be broken now, broken now. hallelujah gift who is gift? I just had the name gift. G-I-F-T. Gift. Your name is gift? Gift. There is a door that is closed. And I'm seeing a hand trying to open that door. And the Lord is saying he wants to open the door of your destiny gift this is what I'm hearing father honor your word right now I stretch my hands over gift whether here or anyone whatever is responsible for this closed door let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now let that door be open now, now. self-inflicted curses that close these doors by the blood of the eternal covenant be open now in the name of Jesus let that door be open now over gift whether you or your family in the name of Jesus may the God of all grace swing those doors open now that everywhere you go literally everywhere you go may there be one man raised by God to help you one man raised by God to favor you in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for any family here that is going through any kind of crisis whatsoever I speak to you Shalom peace be still peace be still peace be still everything dead or dying in your life 
hear the word of the Lord let it come back to life now in the name of Jesus whoever must remember you in Abuja in Lagos across the north the east the south and outside of this country between now and the end of this week I call upon the, the week that begins now in the name of Jesus let remembrance come to your doorstep let remembrance come to your doorstep in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah and I decree and declare any testimony you heard today that you desire may it be reproduced in your life for some of you maybe it's concerning visas and embassy issues for some of you perhaps concerning whatever every testimony you heard today that you sincerely desire with all your heart let it be reproduced in your life and anybody who means you evil their eyes will not see you I say it again anybody who means you evil their eye will not see you in the name of Jesus you are delivered from the arrows that fly by day and every plague of darkness experience abundance I pray for your prayer life the grace to pray like never before may that grace be released upon you the grace to study the word with passion and zeal may that grace rest upon you anybody in your life who is a wrong person who is misleading you destroying your life this is the week they finally separate from your destiny anybody in your life deceiving you and putting you in a path that leads to destruction I say it again may this be the week my God separates them from you as you depart from this place tonight everything that is not of God remains here it will not go with you and everything that God has scheduled for you may it get to your home before you waiting for you to testify in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus as a sign of faith the Bible says to receive with thanksgiving are you waving thank you Jesus thank you Jesus for in Jesus mighty name we have prayed in the name of Jesus I decree and declare from this night I declare begin to step into a strange order of abundance I release you into a strange and superior order of wealth a strange order of financial blessings in the name of Jesus Christ I don't care what it has been like from the family you came from the economic situation you might be facing now whether in debt whether suffering all kinds of financially related issues in the name of Jesus arise and shine in the name of Jesus arise and shine arise and shine financially in the mighty name of Jesus I declare over every ministry going through financial pain and tension every family going I'm sensing a strong anointing I'm praying upon you every ministry every organization every business I decree and declare beginning from now may these spiritual forces start working for you by reason of these forces activated I declare over your job may it begin to produce maximally I declare over your business endeavor may it begin to produce maximally I declare over your investments may they produce maximally and I declare over the men that have been sent by God to stand with you and stand by you I declare enjoy their ministry from tonight you hear me by reason of this teaching tonight every spirit of poverty and lack and failure every cause of stagnation I declare they lose their hold over your destiny now they lose their hold over your destiny now hear me I pray for every pastor and every church connecting 
in the name of Jesus even in this supposed global recession you will not beg you will not lack you will not be in want in the name of Jesus Christ help them please every ministry here that loves God and yet you are going through all kinds of financial tension that projects do not seem projects have been halted whether structural projects transformative projects halted because of the absence of financial resources I declare as these forces come into play step into a new season of supplies and for every family here that has suffered poverty and lack and financial you know failure in the name of Jesus because you came here tonight may my God begin with you and wipe the tears of your family members I said may my God begin with you and wipe the tears of your family members let me pray one last time I just feel led in my spirit to pray for widows widowers orphans all those who their physical support system seem to have gone away from them maybe the breadwinner of the family has passed on or maybe there's some kind of issue in the family and right now it looks like those that are around are incapacitated in the name of jesus i declare that as these forces begin to work themselves let poverty be driven far from your life far from your family in the name of jesus christ and everyone who has mismanaged financial resources to your detriment you've lost money you've had all kinds of things you've been downsized because you still have access to these forces i decree and declare the same way the hair of samson grew back i speak to your finances it must grow back i speak to your finances it must grow back wave your hands and give jesus praise lord how they are they increased that trouble me many are they that rise up against me verse 2 many there be which say of my soul there is no help for you in god verse 3 but thou O lord art a shield for me my glory and the lifter up of my head are you ready to pray say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that nothing keeps my head down in this season i am lifted supernaturally lift your voice and begin to pray but thou, O Lord, I just shoot for me my glory, the lifter up of my head. Let us approach the top of the foot of the foot. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Acts chapter 12. Please give it to us quickly. Acts chapter 12. From verse 4. The Bible says that Peter was kept in prison. And the Bible says they kept him in prison. Intending that after Easter, they would bring him out so that the people would kill him. Verse 5. Peter therefore was kept in prison, but prayer was made without season of the church unto God for him. What happened? And when Herod would have brought him forth the same night, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers. 
bound with two chains and the keepers before the door that kept the prison verse 7 the bible says and behold the angel of the lord came upon him and light shined in the prison and they smote peter on the side and raised him up saying arise up quickly and the chains fell off from his hand verse 8 and the angel said unto him guard thyself and bind up thy sandals and so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment before thee and follow me verse 9 the bible says and he went out and followed him and wist not that it was true which was done by the angel but he saw as though he was in a vision 10. Hmm. and when they were past the second the first gate there were three gates the first gate brought him out of the prison the second gate was midway and the bible says they came onto the iron gate that led to the city listen to me this is the gate that stops visibility there is a gate that stops the visibility of men it says the gate leads to the city your business can be there but there is an iron gate listen and the bible says that the gate opened on its own accord when that gate opens the next thing you see is the city is the gate that controls influence are you ready to pray in the name of jesus every gate standing my way of influence and visibility i declare be broken right now lift your voice and pray he has broken the gates of God and cut the bars of iron in thunder he has broken the gates of power and cut the bars of iron in thunder. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Listen to me. We are going to pray against delay. It was the delay of the bridegroom that made the oil of others to finish. If the bridegroom came early, all ten of them will see him. They all had oil, but because the bridegroom delayed, the oil of others finished and they missed out. You are going to pray. Lord, bring speed to my destiny. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and pray. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my business. Speed to my career. Someone is praying. Pray, pray, outside, pray, online, pray, make the peace in the name of Jesus. 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 We are still praying over speed. Look at me. Listen. The unit of destiny is time. God can bring you help speedily. Are we together now? Yes. We are going to pray. The Bible says, And the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of ahab down to jisrael we are going to pray 
Lord brings speed to my life. Bring speed to my life. Lift your voice and begin to prophesy. Speed, speed, speed. Someone prophesy. Someone prepare. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my destiny. Speed to my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalm 125, verse 3. Psalm 125, verse 3, please. The Bible says, The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous. Why? Lest the righteous put their hands in iniquity. The rod of the wicked. You are going to command every finger of darkness and evil over your life, your family, your children. You are going to command it to give way. Are you ready? Lift your voice and pray. The rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the Lord of the righteous. Hallelujah. 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 Job chapter 5, please. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. We are praying. Please take this prayer serious. Job chapter 5 and verse 19. Are you ready to read? Want to read with me? He shall deliver thee in six troubles. Yea, in seven shall no evil touch you. Number one. Next verse, please. In famine, he shall redeem thee from death. And in war, from the power of the sword. Next verse. Thou shalt be hid from the scourging tongues of men. Neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. At destruction and famine, thou shalt laugh. Neither shalt thou be afraid of the beast of the earth. Why? Listen. It says, for thou shalt be in covenant with the stones of the field. That means nobody can use any element of creation to make enchantments against me. You use sand, you, I, I have a covenant with the elements of creation that they will not fight me because I was given dominion over them. Say in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, no enchantment, no divination against my life and my destiny shall try. Lift your voice and pray. I am in covenant. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant. I am in covenant with the stone. I am in covenant with the stone. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Second Thessalonians chapter 3 and verse 16. Please read with me. Are you ready? Want to read? Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace. How long? Always. By all means. 
if it means clearing the troublemakers out of the way by all means if it means making a way by all means lift your voice and say lord by all means give me peace 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 by all means Hallelujah. Isaiah 61. Isaiah 61. The Spirit of the Lord God is upon me because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings to the meek. He hath sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of prison to them that are bound. There are people physically, you see them moving. But in the realm of the spirit, the Bible says that they are bound. Next verse. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God. To comfort all that mourn in Zion. Verse 3. It says to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees or the oaks of righteousness, the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Verse 4, I receive it for myself. It says, and they shall build the old waste, they shall raise up the former desolations, and shall repair the waste cities, and desolations of many generations. Verse 5, and strangers... This is where we are getting to. You don't need to know who will help you. Strangers. And strangers shall stand and feel. Listen, listen, listen. Strangers shall stand and feed your flock. It says, and the sons of aliens or foreigners shall be your plowmen. This was what happened to a man called Mephibosheth. The Bible says, and David said, is there any man in the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And they called a man called Ziba who had 15 sons. The Bible says he sent him to Lodeba. He said there is a crippled man called Mephibosheth. Go and fetch the man, the king said. When he came, he said, although you are crippled, even Mephibosheth said, am I a dog that the king will be sending for me? He said the children of Ziba would plow the land for him. He said, but as for you, Mephibosheth, you will eat with me at my table here forever. Keep that scripture there. Listen, this scripture is a deliverance scripture. Stop thinking the miracle will come through the person you know. It's none of your business how God will bring you the breakthrough. Stop troubling your uncle, your auntie. Every time you are saying, God, visit me, your mind is going to a particular person. That real estate man. Leave God to decide who, like a movie director. Let him decide who will come with the blessing. Are you ready to pray? Make decrees in this season. Strangers are feeding my flock. Strangers are feeding my flock. The sons of Elia are coming to bless me. Hell, prepare blessings rising from everywhere. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Two prayer points and we're done. Are you ready to pray? We're going to pray for Nigeria. How many of you know that we owe a responsibility to pray for this nation? You see the happenings around this nation? The church should not be silent. It's not about going around to make all kinds of unguarded statements. Our assignment is to pray. Pray like believers with intelligence. He said, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper who love you. We are going to pray. We cannot fold our arms and allow the devil to continue to destroy people. You heard the testimony of our dear auntie here. The precious daughter just came out of the, her school. And these wicked, evil people entered a car. And that's how they carried her. Killed other innocent people. Whoever digs a pit for you, I stand by my God and I declare they must enter that pit. Hallelujah. Now listen. Haman was plotting the annihilation of the Jews. And he was clearly cooperating with Vashti. And God needed to remove Vashti. And when God brought Esther, Esther forgot her assignment. And she was enjoying the palace. And Mordecai sent a warning. That warning is for all of us. Every time you hear trouble somewhere, don't say it's still far. Don't make the mistake of Esther. Mordecai said, do not think when they are done with us from afar, you will be spared. The moment you hear that there is trouble anywhere, you owe a responsibility to stay the power of hell. Don't just say, I am secured. Esther knew that if she kept quiet, one day they would discover she were a Jew and they would kill her. And she took the risk. I'm going to meet the king. Even without his invitation, if I perish, I perish. One of the things I'm praying and trusting that God will do to the body of Christ is to help us to rise to that point of maturity where we are able to take the corporate burden of the body even if personally there is nothing wrong with us are we together when you hear that there is an accident you don't just say oh the members of my church were protected it is a cry for everybody are we together now you must be able to hide your individualism so that the corporate good of the body will speak so just because nothing happened to your business during the pandemic just because you are okay just because you have security forces around your house does not mean you should negate the fact that our nation needs help as responsible believers part of the ministry of priesthood is to stand and midwife deliverance and say no lord it cannot happen not in our lifetime this kind of evil that plagued the nations we must stand as priests Are we together hmm. for a very long time we have been largely very selfish once trouble does not come near you you read the news and say oh that's fine it is them once it is not your child that is kidnapped no problem that's not the time to pray morning and evening that's the time to pray anyhow and any time because you are in a season your anchor will be your prayer hallelujah day and night you are praying lord i don't know what is happening to my life but i'm praying you have your prayer time in the morning you have your prayer time in the evening but every time is prayer time every time is prayer time an evil report your wife just lost her child what are you doing i am praying why i'm in a season is any man afflicted james chapter 5 and verse 13 let him pray let him pray not let him discuss not let him grumble around not let him call god names and say i will backslide let him pray psalm 34 please from verse 4 to 7 and then the last part and we will pray psalm 34 i sought the lord and he heard me and delivered me from what all my fears next verse we are reading to four to seven 
they looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed six the poor man cried and the lord heard him and saved him out of how many all his troubles last verse the angel of the lord encamped around them that fear him and delivered them prayer is a powerful weapon in all seasons but especially this season lord what is happening around my life my wife just got attacked my son just got attacked my job just got attacked i am not understanding what is happening i set myself like daniel onto prayer god grants you grace you can add with fasting add with fasting this spiritual laziness of eating anyhow anytime many believers now fast as a ceremony three days fasting you carry it on your head as if you as if it's, it's 12 years fasting if you love food more than your destiny life will cheat you again and again food is okay oh, but please let me tell you mighty ones you must learn to show food that your spirit man has grown above it there are many of you here you cannot remember i may be wrong i'm not saying you should do it please i'm not saying you should do it but as far as i'm concerned there are spiritual levels that if you get to a week should never pass that you did not fast you are joking you are joking not with what you are doing to hell you are joking seven days ah no Himarama. 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 To the king who sits on the throne, he marama. To the king, listen. Let me tell you this. I will continue to teach you this secret. Real victory, real victory in prayer, is gotten while men sleep real victory is not gotten shouting around just making noise real men of power contact power when men sleep may god give you the grace to rise above sleep i'm praying from the may god give you the grace to not allow sleep cheat you that God can wake you up in the night no light off the light you are praying not allow distractions you are praying the next thing you see one of your trousers and it's enough to distract off the light you can use your phone light you are in the night alone and watch what happens you are nobody see what you are doing but there is a register every day you are signing it is the day you get to the stage to preach that's when god will not disappoint you You don't come on stage and talk nonsense lion of the tribe of judah rose of sharon lily of the valley rose of this and that and that god is not a scammer he's not a magician no track record in the secret place you will flatter yourself to nothing in it in the open please learn to pray in the night learn to pray in the night learn to pray in the night receive grace to dedicate night times and pray god didn't give you a house just to keep things turn everywhere to a prayer altar turn your toilet to a prayer altar turn your living room to a prayer altar when everyone has gone off the television don't pray watching a film 
even if it's a Christian movie, you are not praying. Shut it down. Lord, this is me and you here. I don't know what is happening to my life. Ke kala prende ke a time will come you feel like just leaning get up and say satan you're a liar i'm going far a time will come your tongues begin to change what you are saying it will never be what you started with you are you, you have entered a level in the spirit tongues are languages and there are levels of power contact groanings that cannot be uttered you get to a point in the spirit where you begin to pray there are times that only one word one phrase will come out of your mouth for minutes pray it you are receiving power is not something you do in a group so that people will see you and think you're a prayer warrior don't joke with your destiny like that don't joke with your destiny like that the bible says to enter and shut the door behind you shut the door behind you and pray to your father who is in secret you don't need to have a prayer point you don't need to have a prayer point just stay there and begin to pray Sekas kaparakatos, embrekete kene katakatos, sikos kamanakata. And while you are praying, your flesh is weak, but your spirit is willing. can i tell you this there is a level of fire you bring on any attack in your life it must give way it must give way fire is an emblem of the spirit it's one of the emblems of revival it's one of the emblems that show that the spirit is in a place fire does not only refine fire is for judgment there are times you need to stay like a priest upon the watch my brother and my sister if you pray from your heart some things will shift you will wake up in the morning and know i shifted this through prayer there are attacks that only prayer can challenge pray for me pray for me is wonderful but you must become the priest of your destiny can someone just blast in tongues for just one or two minutes Salabakata. Shemakandas kama hasabash. Rakata pakato sopo koto sheke telekata. Emprata seneketo shanikata. Fasepe shana haskabarakos. Rekete kete kete skabarakatos. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. Lord, I'm in a season of my life. I cannot afford to be lazy. I'm in a season of my life. I cannot allow my prayer life go down. It's too risky. Not for this season. Not for this season. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. This is the wrongest time to be prayerless. Oh, take away slumber from my eyes. Take away slumber, oh God. There are scores to settle in the realm of the spirit. There are things to shift in the realm of the spirit. There are things to align in the realm of the spirit. I need to legislate spiritual realities. While men slept, while men slept, the enemy came and sought it. Hey, 
Barabaratos que la variante. Pray. Pray. Outside, pray. Who sits upon the rival? Who the king reigns? Who is upon the rival? Sela baka pare kotosia, kimarama. Woe to them who are is in Zion. Woe to them who are is in Zion. Who sits upon the white horse? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are praying. Psalm 125. Prayer gives you stamina to pass through seasons. Jesus prayed, otherwise, you would have given up. He said, Peter, Satan desired to sift you like wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith fail not. And when you are converted, use the same strategy to strengthen strengthen pray i say strengthener they that trust in the lord shall be as mount zion which cannot be moved but abided forever next verse as the mountains are around jerusalem so the lord is round about his people from henceforth even forever next verse for the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest the righteous put his hands in iniquity next verse do good O lord unto those that be good and to them that are upright in their hearts we are reading till the last verse as for such as turn aside in their crooked ways the lord shall lead them forth with the workers of iniquity but peace upon joshua selman prayer gives you stability in the next two three minutes you are going to pray and say lord let this prayer stabilize me i shouldn't be shaking over everything i should be able to laugh at certain storms and say jesus is lord lift your voice and pray stability power stamina The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is the strength of my life. Tonight, 
for the sake of my children. Oh God, arise. Oh God, arise. Oh God of Jeshua, that rides upon the wings of the wind. Arise. Arise. Be serious tonight. I tear down altars. I use prayer as a system of authorization. This cause must stop. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it. Say in the name of Jesus. Tonight, I stand on behalf of myself and my family. And I declare that every altar that is speaking against my destiny I tear it down tonight lift your voice and pray yourselves to two find find a partner and hold a hand be serious please if the person by your side is not serious leave him alone was doing serious business tonight find a partner and hold a hand say after me in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus Every legal access I have given for these altars to speak against me knowingly and unknowingly tonight I invoke the blood let the blood speak lift your voice and begin to pray every legal access every legal access every legal access I have given any altar of darkness even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered even the lawful captives shall be delivered Shabbat Shalom, 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 Shabbat Shalom,
Hallelujah. Hold the hands of someone else. Look for another partner. Hold the hands of someone else. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of failure. I speak to you. Sheketokatea in the name of Jesus. I tear you down. Release my destiny. Release my destiny. Altars of poverty. Altars of delay. Altars of stagnation. I speak against you. I speak against you. I cause you by the God of heaven. By the God of heaven. Hallelujah. We are really praying tonight. I'm seeing blood dripping on people. God is bringing so many miracles in people. We are still praying, please. We are still praying. Shalapakaya. We are still praying. Skatabariasa. I see altars on fire. We are still praying. We are making real contact with the realm of the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Say in the name of Jesus. Altars that are territorial in nature. Fighting my destiny because of where I'm coming from I prophesy tonight your hold is broken over my life lift your voice and pray altars associated with territories associated with territories I come against you by the God of heaven I come against you pray pray I come against you Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please help those under the anointing. Hallelujah. Listen, there are some of you, your prayers were answered since many years, but it looked like it has not manifested because every time it's reaching you, an altar lifts up. We are going to call it back. Are you ready to pray? Say after me in the name of Jesus. Every delayed blessing that should have happened in my life and was delayed because of these altars tonight by prophecy I call you back to my life lift your voice and pray lift your voice and pray and watch the God of wonders on for right the God of heaven and watch restoration happen in your death restore relationships restore finances restore mantles restore ministries Pray, pray. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are going to call the name of your family members. Listen, I don't care how many, call it. Listen, you are going to call them one by one and say, I stand as an altar and I bring you out of this dungeon. Lift your voice and pray. Call them. Call them. Call them. Mention them by name. Call them. I bring you out from this wasteful living. Call them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. Be serious. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I speak to the east. I speak to the west. I speak to the north. I speak to the south. Everywhere my favor is in the name of Jesus I command it to my life now lift your voice and pray you don't have to travel call it everywhere it is Hallelujah. I want you to pray. Listen. I want you to pray and talk to God. Tell Him, Lord, I'm part of this apostolic family. The altar you have erected here must speak for me. I want my life to show it from today. Lift your voice and pray. Pray with understanding and watch what happens to you. Pray with understanding. Pray with understanding. hallelujah many of you may not realize what is happening to you please I don't want you to idolize this teaching no it's not about religiosity 
it's about proper understanding and application so it's not just coming to lie down here that no 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 the altar is a revelation we are going to pray right now and activate back our prayer lives listen because many of us here the only time you pray is when you are together with people satan started attacking you he gave himself a five-year plan to attack your prayer life he will never attack it at once he can give himself a five-year plan and be destroying you say in the name of jesus i decree and declare that the spirit of prayer and supplication the grace to pray i receive it right now lift your voice and begin to pray fire fresh fire on my own path fresh grace to pray fresh grace to fast fresh grace to intercede fresh grace for warfare i command every death in your life allow my life come back to life come back to life hallelujah hallelujah one last prayer point and i will pray for you there are many of us the spirit of god started revealing things to you because you were meeting with him every day but something happened no more visitation of the secret place and that portal closed over your life no access to illumination you used to be you used to have projects that you and god are on you can literally say we are on a faith project but now there's nothing like that your life has become stale and barren some of you is when you started ministry this this so-called thing called ministry that's what destroyed you we are going to pray a prayer of restoration and the fire will fall upon you i'd like you to pray say in the name of jesus say it again in the name of jesus say holy spirit i ask that you manifest yourself once again in my life holy spirit i cry for intimacy afresh with you lift your voice and begin to pray intimacy spirit of the living god do not be far from me again pray pray let it not be that you are just a stranger we were closer than this and something happened hallelujah please lift your hands i tell you there will be there will be testimonies upon testimonies i pray for you now i'm praying for you in the name that is above all names everyone hearing me and standing here whether inside or outside you have prayed if there is any altar as i speak now that is speaking against your life at the count of three i command those altars to catch fire right now please get ready the power of god will cover you one two three I command those orders now. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. 
I command those altars be broken. Be broken. Listen. Lift your hands. I'm challenging altars of failure. Listen. Just I'm praying for you. Don't pray. Just listen to me. Because I'm seeing people here. Failure. It has nothing to do with academics. It makes you fail in everything. I stretch my hands. May that fire anyone here who is a victim, that altar is speaking. I stand by the road of a higher priesthood and I judge those altars now. I judge those altars now. I judge those altars now. I judge those altars now by fire. I judge those altars now. There are altars that cause men to see things and never handle it. You see a job, they tell you it's yours. Quarter to reception, everything changes. I don't know who belongs to that category, but in the name of Jesus, inside and outside, following online, anyone who has been a victim of total failure and disappointment right now in the name of Jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus that fire comes upon you in the name of Jesus I command total deliverance help them, help them please total deliverance in the name of Jesus Christ put down your hands ladies keep your hands lifted I will tell you why I am praying for you there are many ladies let me tell you many people don't know why things don't work especially for ladies it's not because you are ladies and it's not because you are bad it's because many ladies are spiritually ignorant of what they represent in the realm of the spirit a lady is not just another human being who is not a man no it's more than that a lady is the chiefest point of entrance even among men that's why she has a womb the only lady a lady is a gate in the realm of the spirit it's not just a human being keep your hands lifted that's why demons look for them that's why spirits look for them that's why altars speak against them it may not be caused by you but i'm praying for you keep your hands lifted you may not understand what is happening lord jesus i'm praying now than any one of our sisters here whose family and destiny is under siege I'm declaring anyone who made a covenant with the earth for your destiny anyone who passed through fire to make a covenant with your destiny in the name that is above all names I decree and declare upon every lady now be free in the name of jesus be free in the name of jesus from those yokes those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause fibroid those yokes that cause lungs around your body those lungs those valiness i got it by the god of heaven i got it by the god of heaven hallelujah i'm seeing 11 ladies the lord is opening my eyes listen now i'm seeing rings on all their 10 fingers and this is a very serious demonic case and the lord wants to set them free now you will not know it is not something you know one of you used to see it physically you see rings on your hands in the name of jesus 11 people ladies especially i'm praying now some are inside some are outside doesn't matter where you are the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. Lord, I pray whoever came into this meeting, whether online or offline, and belongs to that category, in the name of Jesus, as I'm praying now, I command, I'm praying now, the fire will fall on certain people 
11 in all I see. Lord, let it be right now. I, I break that marriage. I break that spiritual marriage. I break that spiritual marriage. My God, my God, my God, my God. I break that spiritual marriage. There's one of them you should have married. But this is what stops everybody that comes around you. I command it broken right now. 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 Hallelujah. Our time is gone. The Lord is asking me to minister to someone here. Somebody comes to you in the night physically. I'm not talking of vision. Physically. You feel somebody lying down around your bed sometimes sleeping with you you are feeling it this is not guesswork this is something you know is happening wherever that person is right now in jesus name i stretch my hands there is no escape in the name of jesus whether inside or outside you are in this category now i command judgment judgment on any strange spirit judgment on any stranger judgment on any stranger in the name of jesus christ hallelujah praise the lord i don't know but we're rounding up please just just be patient with me i'm hearing in my spirit yoruba people yoruba people there is there is something a deliverance that god is bringing now to yoruba people you know how god acts as i'm speaking now everyone associated with that territory i place the word of god now in the name of jesus let that sword of deliverance i command that double-edged sword to locate everyone from the southwestern part now who is in need of territorial deliverance i command it now inside and outside in the name of jesus no escape no escape for any power of darkness Every mark of this favor that is on anyone's life here you watch what happens to your life from this meeting anyone carrying any mark of this favor where men should bless you something about you becomes an irritation i command that mark to be erased from your life now I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I'm watching what is happening from the spirit realm, not the physical realm. When you see me keep praying, it's because God is doing something. I command that mark to be raised from your life now. I say it again. I command that mysterious mark to be erased from your life right now. Anyone here who has any member of your family that has refused to give birth they have tried and tried and the devil would just not let them have a child either she will not take in completely or she would take in and then mysteriously lose the child or the man will not be able to get her pregnant i don't care what situation but please even if you are not the one standing for them i'm praying distance is no barrier i stretch my hands now 
and I decree by the altar of prayer we authorize angelic assistance to those people right now we authorize angelic assistance right now hear me it was an angel that came to assist Mary to get pregnant he showed up and said I was sent your own is to just agree and she said be it unto me and she got pregnant I declare and declare that any manifestation and encounter that they need to go through to have their child I command it to happen now in the name of Jesus let me pray finally for your finances I believe in God's people empowered there is no triumph when everything around your life is not working I want to speak because some of you are titers some of you are sowers some of you bless honor God's house but simply because of certain systems that manifestation can happen as laziness that manifestation can happen as disfavor everywhere in the name of Jesus I decree and declare nobody here is too young to prosper don't listen to that nonsense nobody here I'm not talking of business I'm not talking of a job I'm talking of a system in the spirit where God will lift you in a way that will make you afraid I decree and declare now as I'm praying for you I'm also praying for families because there are families that need help as a matter of emergency I pray that the demon sitting on the financial destiny of anyone here sitting on the financial destiny of any family I clear it out of the way right now I clear it out of the way right now I clear it out of the way right now I clear it out of the way right now in the name of Jesus Christ listen listen I've shared with you my encounter I've seen that spirit that they call mammon I've seen it I've shared it here some years ago when I was praying and all of a sudden my ceiling disappeared and all of a sudden I saw a giant creature like him as tall as a mango tree standing looking like um like 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 a dinosaur a sea creature with a tail and the tail was another living thing on its own it could detach from that creature and move and the eyes were as big as a human head two red fierce eyes and he was looking at me and he said so you think you can bring god's people into blessings and that was the end of the encounter that was it was that day i knew that wealth is spiritual it's not about what you do it's about what is backing you you can do everything to a bow there must be a spirit assisting you i call for the ministry of the holy spirit over your finances and i command extraordinary results from today i command strange results from today i command strange favors from today i command strange results from today strange encounters with destiny helpers in the name of jesus christ i want you to wave your hands to jesus everyone here connected to anything that has to do with ancestry anything that has to do with bloodline everything that seems to have a legal hold over your life right now in the name of jesus i decree and declare at the count of three by the fire of the holy ghost it will consume that devil now one two help them three be free now please help them be free now be free now help those under the anointing please